Um, well, yeah, obviously part of my job is going to be um, bringing along the fast bowlers from Afghanistan. Um, obviously we've got some experience in the squad, um, so it's going to be good to, to learn how they go about their business. Um, obviously we've got some youth as well, um, and, and also some guys that have been out of the, out of the team so far, um, and coming through the ranks that I've seen here in the squad um, are showing plenty of potential. Um, and it's exciting for me to work with these guys and obviously they're going to teach me a little bit as well about the way they go about things and hopefully I can teach them in return about the things I've learned through my career. Yeah look obviously we're very uh, heavy on our spin department, um, our slower bowlers, um, they're obviously worldly, you know, a lot of world experience there with those guys. They're probably going to make up the bulk of our bowling um, but obviously we do have a, a, lot, a lot of great fast bowling options as well. Um, just depending on conditions and how, how many of those guys will play. Um, obviously you've got guys like Naveen who's also played around the world. Um, so there's one guy straight away t to mention. So um, yeah, obviously team balance will, will dictate how, how much those guys play. I mean, it's, it's difficult to narrow it down to three elements because there's lots of, every fast bowler is different in their own way. Um, and and there's, there's plenty of things you can talk about for fast bowlers to become successful. Um, in T20 cricket alone, I think, the, the, the ability to back yourself in of, on, on the plans you bowl. So, for example, if you want to be, if you want to bowl Yorkers at the death, stick to your plans as a, as a, as a Yorker bowler and back them in. So, so the, the ability to not panic and stay with your plans. Obviously, T20 cricket accuracy is a, is a big one. Just being accurate in everything you do. There's not a lot of room for error. Um, and then and the other ones that turn up to the bowler, there might be a, a guy that bowls lots of change-up slower balls. There might be a guy that can bowl 145, or there might be a swing bowler, for example. So the third one's probably up to the individual. Improvement of fastball in Afghanistan, obviously I think the number one thing is it's a mindset to, not, to, to realize it's not just about the slow spin bowlers in, in Afghanistan. There's a big role to play for the fast bowlers. So once, once guys get, get that into their minds, then we can move forward. I, again, I think it's just the same thing I, I spoke about for the, for the other fast bowlers not in the squad is to, to believe in what they're doing and believe they've got a huge role to play in Afghanistan cricket. A again, everyone talks about the, the spin bowlers and the slower bowlers. Let's now get the other guys developed into a position where they can play professional cricket, play in World Cups, etc., and become uh, really good fast bowlers.